National Hot Dog Month, and I thought I'd bring my hot dog dolls over to see what you could tell me about them. Uh, this one, oh, oh, they fly all over the place. It says Chicago on it, mm -hmm. and it looks like something you could buy at the ballpark. It's actually got a Major League Baseball. You know, this is pretty official. new. This is, this is what we call a collectible of the future. Once you see made in China, you know that that's not that yeah. old. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> True. So uh, yeah, that's we, what mostly we these have are. Those. And then some of the older ones. This one is from the uh, famous uh, Yoko's uh, hot dog stand in Allentown. Oh, For yeah. their 80th anniversary, they made these hot dog dolls. Yeah, they're right up on uh, Cedarhurst Avenue, I think. Right, yeah, it's there. been there since like 19, well, 80 years or so. Is that how you say it, Yoko's? I say, I used to say Yoko's. Yoko's. And people would go, oh no, Yoko. <laughs> it's not Yoko's. I used to say Yoko. Yoko's. That's kind of cool. How old is and, this one? Uh, that's 80, that's probably about 10 years old. Uh -huh. So, uh, what would that be, 80 from, that's like about 90, years they're up in their 90th anniversary right now. So that would be uh, 1923, 1924. And that seems like the year a lot of hot dog places open. It must have been really a good business. And uh, this one here is from Khan's Meats. This almost looked like one of those kind of patterns. Oh, yeah. That you bought and the logo. And Khan's, they're the official hot dog of the New York Mets. And they started in 1883 in uh, Cincinnati. Khan's did. Yeah, the Khan family. Uh, well, this looks like uh, something probably from the 1940s or 50s. Some has that kind of graphics, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that kind They're of very fabric. Cute. Some of these were made, and then you you could sew them yourself. But I think this is right, probably. Yeah. Well, it's, you can always tell by the last the last sewing. Oh yeah. You know when you look at the ones you sew yourself, nobody can ever give. Them oh no, goods. this is this is this is machine and turned yeah. inside out. That's really that's good. pretty cool. Right, and then one of the other ones we have is from a place called the Tony Paco's. Which they used to talk about this on the MASH uh, TV show years ago. Oh, yeah. It's even got the logo on the back. Tony, Tony Paco's in Toledo, Cafe. Ohio. Yeah. You know, I've seen a lot of collections, but I have to say, a uh, collection of hot dog dolls is a new one on me. Yeah, I know. It's really, well, you know how it is with collecting. You start looking for something, and you find a thousand. Well, you there. usually find one, and then you start looking for it. Right, yeah. You go, oh, and what about this guy here? There could be. This is called Frankie. He's got a little quote name here. Mm -hmm. And it says, Frankie's the cleaner wiener. Because I have one mint in the package. Uh -huh. And it's probably from the 60s, and it's superior meat. Well, you know, it's very funny. You know, I used to say 60s isn't that old, but gosh, 60s is... Uh, <laughs> it's like 55 years old. 55 I mean, years old. hard to believe. And of course, yeah, it's like on the road show, sometimes I'll say to everyone, well, that's pre-war, but I have to say, which war? Yeah, which war? <laughs> there was a war to end the old war, though. Yeah. Anyway, here is a, a modern Frankie. Uh -huh. Same company, Superior Meats. This is, looks like brand new out there, and it's from... Also made in China. Yeah, Superior Meat. Surface washable. Right. And uh, what else do we have here? We have this little guy from... Uh, Ted's Charcoal Hot Dogs. This is a chain of restaurants up in northern uh, New York, New York State. Ted's Jumbo Red Hots Incorporated, Amherst, New York. Right. All new materials. Mm -hmm. Made in China again. Yeah, made in China. What That's amazing. Give me that last one over there. Oh, this, oh, this guy here. Yeah. This right. this oh, is this is a great bun. I mean, that's got the mustard and everything. Yeah, ballpark yeah, franks. Ballpark franks, yeah. And an amazing thing. High grade. Uh, Got the contract to uh, be the uh, hot dog vendor for the Detroit Tigers. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to come up with a name for the hot dogs, and they asked all their employees to name the, the hot dog. And the woman, uh, Mary Ann Crux, came up with the winning thing. She called them Ballpark Franks, and that's why they're called Ballpark Franks. And there he is. Uh, he actually came with a little stuffed dog. And I guess Franks really comes from. Frank. Well, there's two things. Frank's is supposedly from Frankfurter. And Frank Wiener Frank. is from Vienna, supposedly. Frank and most historians say it became the hot dog when it got on the roll. I see. And then there's some great stories about this one guy who was selling hot dogs before the roll, and you would come up and he would give you a glove. You put on a white cotton glove, and then you held the sausage and you eat it. And that's supposedly the invention of the original hot dog. And there's all these myths and things that you get. So, so what do you think? These will become uh, valuable? They'll be in the Smithsonian in about 100 years? Yeah, I think you want to hold on to them in, um, for about another 75 to 100 years. Yeah, pretty and, good. But keep them this, this clean. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what's going to be the key. 
having them in perfect condition. Perfect condition. So. He realized that he wanted to come up with an idea of food that people could take to the beach. And the guy across the street was had, was a crepery that sold ice cream on crepes. Mm. Supposedly, uh. that's the other story that him and Feldman created. He created the roll, Feldman had the sausage, and that and the two of them made all the money because the people would, could take him to the beach. That's one story. And that's how Coney Island became the place for, uh, you know, very famous for hot dogs, and that's why something like this, which was made out in the Midwest, you know, and, and in little stores here and there, they put this on the back counter, counter and, uh, and people were capitalize. I want to call it hot, red hot. Well, red hots is something from the Midwest. Oh yeah, and that's what they call our hot dogs, red hots. Well, this was made. Um, where was this made? Uh, St. This Louis. This Advance uh, Manufacturing Company, St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, St. Louis. What's amazing is, the, is this decal. How beautiful the decal is. Yeah, yeah. You're right, it's Obviously never been used. never used. Because uh, if it were, the decals would be uh, bleached out from the heat. And of course, work. this made the boiled hot dogs, which are not my favorite. Yeah, you know what they call them now? What? Dirty water dogs. Because <laughs> they lay in dirty water. That's the name. No, I like my split and grilled. Well, I like my favorites are, are well-cooked Nathan's. Nathan's, to me, are the best. I've done taste, taste tests mm -hmm. between Nathan's and Hebrew National, and as far as I'm Nathan's fans. Yeah. Better than Nathan's, but you can't. The thing I like about Nathan's is they had these big, you can't do this now in the health department, right. they had these big uh, white uh, ceramic uh, buckets of mustard and with paint stirrers, paint oh, yeah. paddles, and that's how you put the mustard. That's paint in stir. Yeah. <laughs> also, they do it's all pretzel trucks, also, <laughs> also, but you're right, the Board of Health made them clean it all up. Yeah. All these hot dog dolls made for different companies and everything. Oh, and I'm waiting for an Applegate doll. Great, that would be great because you know they're one of our sponsors uh, for the National Hot Dog Month in Philly. Oh, that's great. They're great they people. Have great hot dogs and, and a great dog. They'll add to my collection. I'll okay. be good. Great. Thank